and that's only conversation between the people that I talk about plates. And it's yeah. called platen pressure, okay? And platen pressure has something to do with the size of this jack surface, oh. the size of these plates, and actually 10,000 on my gauge is about 14,000. Oh my gosh. So I go to 10,000, I don't wanna ever take a four ton press over 14,000 pounds. Yeah. Even though I have new bolts, that metal is only an inch thick and it's aluminum. So you can hear it making noise. You know, it doesn't like the higher pressures, but I don't have $4,000 for a low temp plate press. I don't. Mm -hmm. I certainly have $700 for a dab press that's 12 tons, but mine's custom. And here's why, guys. Even the 12 ton dab press is a little bit heavier. I made this little guy so I could carry it in and out of places to give demonstrations. Mm -hmm. It takes two guys to carry those presses that those people have. Yeah. So we're at about 9,000. I think I'm going to stop. And here's kind of a really important part, you guys. A fast, quick release. Get it off. Get it out. Get it off. Because you're just going to let it suck back into the bag. Get that bag out of there. You know, there is a gold bar if I ever heard one. So what will happen is if you let it slowly go like this, it's like a sponge. It's just going to suck all the oil back into this screen, right? Now, to explain it without doing it, you see that white stuff? What is that, Chief? Uh, Chief had to step away for a minute. Oh. He'll be right back. So this is literally just small specks of THCA. Mm -hmm. To extrapolate THCA, and I'll only explain this because I, I won't have time to do it. You would take all of this extraction, put it in a 25 micron mesh screen just like this, and you would slowly, slowly press it. And what will come out is black juice. All the terpenes are going to come out. And what's left behind is going to be something that's similar to this and looks like this. But it's going to be basically white dust. If you've ever bought THCA from a dispensary, it's white crystalline dust is basically what it is. Yeah. Keep your camera down just a little bit, please. Oh, hold on. There we go. So you take that material and put it in a 25 micron and repress. No, 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 no. This, this, I'm just showing you what comes out of the bag with what is technically the waste. Okay. Okay. So people will take this waste and put it in. I take this waste, take all my bucks, and I'll put it in a nut grinder. And I'll grind it all up and I'll put it in a bag and I'll extract even more out of it. Or I'll put this in butter or I'll put this in bread and flour and it will, it's good for inflammation, kills your pains. It's THCA. Even though it's limited amounts, it's never garbage. Mm -hmm. It's never garbage. And it's still right here. It's all right here. I have people who smoke this and get high. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, don't, don't throw that puck away. Don't make butter. I'll smoke that. To me, it's, I can only make so much butter for myself. But you would take this extraction, okay, and you wad it up into a ball, and you put it into a micron screen exactly like we did with these bags. And you slowly squish it out, and it takes about an hour, hour and a half to do it. But that's a press of my best material. What you'll do is you take all of this material, scavenge it up. This stuff's basically white THCA paste butter but it'll all come off and go together i can touch that stuff okay it's not that sticky but this is untouchable yeah see how liquidy is chief no oh, he's still not back yet okay so this liquidy turpy saucy extraction right yeah. this is my 75 25 mix of live fresh frozen water extraction and 25 percent air dry as I explained before, those smaller terpene heads, those smaller trichome heads, give me that extra sauce. I want it dark. The first thing I said in, in hash class was, you mean your hash isn't dark? <laughs> what the hell good is that? <laughs> and that's why I sat to the back of the room because everybody looked at me like I was crazy. But hey, I grew up on, on uh, blonde and black hash. I mean, it's, it's hash. It's what it is. Yeah. 